Today we're going to do a hot and fast cook. We're going to be making some roast Chinese pork. Sometimes people call that cha siu and uh, it, uh, it's going to be done hot. And uh, I'm going to be using lump charcoal here. I got some B&B &B oak lump. I'm going to try that. I'm just putting this much in here right now and this chimney here. If you've not seen this before, this may be interesting. This may be interesting for me too. Uh, get back to you when I get these things hung up and we're going to be using the Hunsicker rib rack for that. Alright, I got the Weber Smoky Mountain now up to 372. I'm looking for 425 to start this cook here. I stuck the probe into that little hole there. I, this first time I've done this here. It's just a simple probe that comes with this thermal work thing. Here are the uh, Chinese roast pork here. You can see it's uh, marinated with uh, hoisin sauce. It's very simple. We'll see how this goes. This will be our first time doing such a cook and I'll be ready to put it on soon when it gets to be 425 as you can see this is not a slow cook this is not uh, even though this is a pork shoulder pork butt uh, Chinese cooking we do roast this is a roast pork we call this roast Chinese pork here this is a Chinese style barbecue here right now temp is up to almost 410 here right now I'm gonna be sh I shut down a couple of vents here actually not shut I just shut down two of the lower ones to one half I'm going to be opening up the uh, the top here, which will, of course, allow a lot of oxygen to jump in. So I'm going to kind of compensate for that somewhat here. All right, we're about 412. In they go. Oh, this is hot. I bet. <laughs> this is hot, man. I'm gonna just put right over the fire here. It's kind of like in the center. So let's just let this thing go. Yeah, Chinese barbecue, you do it at high heat. And uh, it will, uh, there's sugar in this marinade. So you wanna caramelize that. And there's fat. And we want to, uh, cook this meat to be tender but uh, this one here is a little tricky I put two hooks in this one because I don't want this to drop but in the event it did drop I have a grate under there to catch it I have a six they're not uh, cut very nicely but oh. Oh. this is what we call cha siu man and ladies, if you're watching. What does that mean? Chassis, Mr. roast Chan. pork, like roast. Roast meat, roast meat. I'm going to, um, I'm gonna put this over here. This is a little thin piece here. And uh, I wanna bring this up to 170, no, 125, 145 rather. And then I'm going to, uh, just see. Okay. Now, you getting a good picture of that? Mm -hmm. Oh, it looks interesting, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm gonna close this up and uh, let the heat do its magic. This is uh, gonna be a very fast cook. This takes maybe 45 minutes or an hour or so. We'll see. We want to open it at 145 and then uh, I'm going to put some marinade on it and then I'm going to open it up again in a few minutes and then I'm going to put some more marinade on. I'm going to cook this at 175. All right, I'm going to baste this here now. It hasn't been very long, maybe 20 minutes or so. It's up to 150 something degrees. Let's take a look. Oh my goodness. Look at that cha siu here. Start with the... I'm not going to take that. This one has two hooks on here. And so it's a little trickier to take that out right now. I want to just base it a little bit. This one has the probe in. Ah, this may be good enough. Thank you. 
I must say, this looks pretty good. I don't know how it's going to taste, but it looks pretty good. Just see how accurate this is. Well, it's hard to get. It's hard to get in, and I don't want to burn myself. Okay, we got a ways to go still. We want this to be 175. It's about 150, 60 or so. I guess depending which one you probe, but right now. We're just gonna let it sit and do let time do its work. Alright. Be back. Okay, the temp is 165. Ooh, look at that. Mm -hmm. And I want to, uh, I'm gonna base these again. The gold temperature is 175. So this will be the last time I do this here. This is uh, pretty hot, let me tell you. Look at this. Look at that. Is that pretty? Oh, it looks gorgeous. Yeah. Oh, look at this. It's getting nice and brown. It's getting nice and chas. This is just like chasu. Maybe not as red as traditional because I didn't use the uh, red dye or bean curds, which people sometimes will use. But it looks good. Look at the char on this guy here. That's Ooh. probably the sugar. See? You have to get up to, you need a high temperature to caramelize that sugar, but you don't want to burn it. And we want to break this meat down and get it to be tender without falling apart. So we'll slice it and uh, we can use this for many other dishes here. Uh, Boys. Oh, look at this guy. How pretty he looks. Oh, huh? yeah. Look how pretty that looks. Ooh. Mm -hmm. That's pretty. Yeah. All right. We're looking for 175 again. And I imagine that would just take us 10 more minutes, maybe. I don't know. Coming along fine. Like I said, the cook is normally about 45 minutes to an hour. It's been only about, I don't know, 40 minutes or so. So we're pretty much on schedule. And uh, we're going to close it up. And probably the next time we see you all will be when we take this off. And, and one of us, if we're lucky, will give it a taste test. And hopefully, it will be delicious. We'll see. All right, we're pulling these guys off. Look at that. Woo, baby. Woo, baby. Boys. Woo. Oh, look at this guy. How pretty he looks. Oh, huh? yeah. Look how pretty he looks. Check this here. Two-hook chopper. See how pretty she is? Mm -hmm. Okay, last guy. Coming out. Look how much coal I have left. I know, look at that. It's going. Oh my stars! B and B lump. It could burn all night. There's no seasoning in this here. Look how pretty she is on this side here. 
Is she pretty? Oh yes. She's still dripping. Yeah. Get a temp here. You know what? I'm gonna let this guy sit a little longer. We got the fire going. Gonna let him sit. We're gonna cover the rest here. Keep this warm. All right, we're gonna let her rest for about uh, 10 minutes. Give this guy a few more minutes here. We'll get back. Whew. Oh, it does smell good, I'll tell you that right now. It does smell good, okay. Whew. Baby, mm. okay. All right, we're gonna cut into, look at this guy here. I'm gonna cut this one here. This looks, look at a char here. The way you cut here, we're gonna cut here, just like this. Wow. I should use my Chinese cleaver. And, uh, I'm gonna just try a piece. Oh, you can see a little red there. See that red? Mm-hmm. Yeah, just like regular char siu here. Not bad for the first time. Not the best chas you ever had, but not bad. Mm, very good. All right. Let me uh, maybe this just this piece here. I tell you what. Let me go into this piece here. See, now this has uh, more fat on it here. Mm, very good. Wow. Mm. Mm. No, very good. I can see, I wouldn't make this again, but I probably would tweak it. I don't know exactly what I would do, but uh, it's a very simple thing. Hoisin, sugar. Let's see what else I put in here. Honey, soy sauce, little white wine. I mean, mm. garlic. Garlic, yeah. Light and dark soy. Light and dark soy, yeah. But some of these things, I don't know if I would use again. Maybe needed more honey, actually. Uh, we have problem with our honey, and I'm gonna let the uh, camera girl try. It. I'm gonna put it in her mouth here. Try it. Take the whole. It's not hot. How do you like it? Mm, good. Good? You mm -hmm. like it? Mm -hmm. Okay, would you eat this again? Oh yeah. Okay, <laughs> all right, great. Well, I'm gonna cut this here and that's it. All right, thanks for watching and God bless America.